Hello guys, uh, so a couple of weeks ago, I made a post on the website about a lady uh, who decided to leave everything and come to Ghana with his man after he was uh, deported from the UK. And uh, it had a lot of uh, response, uh, very interesting comments coming from everyone else. Uh, fortunately, I have Manka and E with me in the studio uh, to talk a little bit about, about that experience and also as they've settled in Ghana, some of the expectations and uh, how they're experiencing Ghana so far. All right, so I'm going to start with you since you're the one who led the whole thing. Uh, so why did you decide uh, to, to, to first of all put it, all of this into a blog? So, I mean, this was a completely new experience like for the both of us, like myself and him. And I kind of thought, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what the outcome is going to be. All I know is that this is going to be like a completely different journey and why not document it and kind of see where it goes, whether it's a thing that we look back on it and say, wow, look at how far we've come or if there are other people in our situation that just want to know the process or, you know, feel like they can relate to us. We just thought, why not? It was more so me, um, I kind of persuaded him. Oh, you can tell yeah, from the <laughs> video, you can tell. <laughs> I kind of persuaded him, but I thought, you know, why not? There are so many people um, out there going through all kinds of different things. Why not kind of share our experience and kind of see where it goes? And after that went out, and obviously we took it and even made it go further, uh, how, does, how do you feel about that? Um, <laughs> right now I'm even shy, but um, yeah. To be fair, I'm happy that I did it, and um, yeah, I'm going to continue doing so, showing people um, our life experiences, everything that we're going to do. Good, so, yeah. good. So without even going too much, maybe you can uh, recap uh, what the situation was, uh, how it happened, just for people who are not uh, so aware of it in, in general. So um, we found out that he was going to get deported in November, November mm -hmm. last year. And um, from then it was kind of like, okay, what are we going to do? We knew that we had, you know, like, we had like a month to prepare. And um, yeah, it was just a simple case of, we like, if you have watched our videos, um, you would know that he, he didn't actually get deported to Ghana. So, us coming to Ghana was just us, like it was a decision that we made, not because we had to. And we could have gone anywhere, anywhere in the world. But we thought, you know, he's from Ghana. Why not actually come here and try and experience a life here? Because we've never, like either of us have lived in Africa for like a long period of time. So we thought, you know, there's a lot going on in Ghana. Ghana's got a lot of opportunities and why not kind of come and embrace all of the opportunities that Ghana has to offer. So he, he is originally from Ghana, he has yeah. Ghanaian roots, what about Ghanaian you? Roots. I've got Cameroonian, Cameroonian roots, so my mum and dad are both from Cameroon. Um, but Ghana's always been a familiar country to me, my mum does business here, so just a great opportunity for us to just come here and, you know, experience life. Great. And since you've been here, I mean, you came in at a time where it was party, party. And so for, even from the videos that I've seen, a lot of it was, <laughs> was around partying. I mean, how has, the, how has it been uh, coming back? Um, it's been a lot. It's been... I'm still taking in uh, day by day, but it's been a lot. Like, even with the parties, there's so many parties that sometimes I just wanted to stay at home. It's, it's too much. But, but naturally, are you, a, are you a party person? I am, and I'm not. <laughs> um, in between, sometimes I can be, sometimes I can't. So it's one of them, ones, but there's a lot of stuff to do. Cool. And we still haven't. I think we haven't done really anything. We've really. barely done anything. We've like, done a lot, but anything compared sense, to yeah. what mm -hmm. Ghana has got to offer, like it's actually overwhelming. And I mean, a lot of what we like carrying on, what we would love to do is actually show just how much there is to do because we've been here for like almost two months yeah. and like every single day it's like we're doing something but there's still more to do there's still more places to eat there's still more places to go out like there's just so much that this place has to offer and it's crazy because 
we all we know coming from like England is you know we think that we have this lavish life but it's actually nothing like mm -hmm. nothing compared to the way that some of these people are going out here partying if they were in London people be they'll be <laughs> laughing at they'll be laughing at like the English people because they think that they're going out is actually something special and it's mm. just not on one of the episodes we show you sort of a uh, house hunting did you, did you, have you found one yet? We actually, in that video, we actually weren't house hunting. Okay. Like, a lot of people got it, like, they thought that, did you see that house? <laughs> I wish we were house hunting in that area. Um, that was just more so for us to kind of see what's out there and, like, the possibilities of how far your money can go. And the fact that you can come here and there's so many, like, there's so many different options. Like, where I'm from, you either rent or you buy. Here you can build. Like that's something that's so new to me. I, I personally don't even know where to begin from buying land to this. So, mm -hmm. I mean, we're not we're not in any rush. Eventually, hopefully, we will be able to get our dream house. But for now, um, it's more so about like knowing the areas that mm -hmm. we like. You know, just exploring. You never know. It might even be Kamasi that we end up in. Like there's just so many places. You <laughs> never know. Sure, sure. There's just so many places in Ghana that we haven't even explored. So sure. we're taking our time. And when we look at the uh, YouTube channel, you realize that your original channel was for makeup and, and beauty hair. and yeah. hair. Is it something? Uh, is it a, a kind of space you also want to look at in Ghana here? Uh, maybe. Because I also did some digging, I realized you had <laughs> you, you had uh, a, 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 a beauty business yeah, back, back in England. Yeah. Is this something you want to explore here? Yeah, I mean, back in England, I do have a salon. And um, like you said before, I was doing a lot of hair and makeup related videos. And yeah, that's something that I'm very passionate about. Um, there are a lot of people here doing beauty and hair and makeup. So... I definitely do want to introduce my take on it here. Um, with time, I'll be able to kind of develop that more. But definitely, if people are interested, they should follow me for that kind of thing. Great. And now, uh, let's go back to feedback because I remember I, I, I told I, the headline was a, a fairy tale sort of thing. A girl follows the love, <laughs> and then on Twitter, as usual, people come in. Oh, it's because the guy made so much money, and so he doesn't mind who follow. I will. Uh, how do they, <laughs> <laughs> those kinds of comments make? And in generally, uh, on your channel, what are some of the things people are saying and uh, reaction to what it is that you're doing? Um, comments are your favorite, eh? I know mm -hmm. you talk about. That. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> I used to make videos before I understand and I watch a lot of YouTube I understand that everybody will have an opinion mm -hmm. and sometimes it's the kind of opinion that you'll be like really like it's not that for the most part we have had a lot of positive comments like a lot a lot of positive comments the negative ones are the most recurring ones are oh do you think he would do the same for you if it was the other way around or you shouldn't have done that because you guys are not married. And when we do reply, which is not very often, but when we do reply, it's kind of like, ah, like if he, he, the same way that he can leave me as a boyfriend or a fiance, is the same way that he can leave me as a husband. As a husband. As, yeah. So at the end of the day, just be entertained. Just see what we have to offer. Watch, don't watch. But if he was going to leave, he can leave anytime. Marriage is not. Mm -hmm. um, we get a lot of, um, what else? What other comments do we get? <laughs> Just that one. Um, oh no, um, at the start of the first video, people were saying something like, oh, because I wasn't in the video a lot, and we have this thing that is like banter, as in, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like I remember jokes there was we, one that you were yeah. on the street, and yeah. 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 so some people they didn't understand it, so they're like, oh, he doesn't respect her, <laughs> he doesn't, um support her with the YouTube and all this stuff but I just <laughs> at the beginning I wanted to reply to every single one but I'm slowly learning how to, how to just sit back in. and yeah. use the comments as a yeah yeah I mean it's good uh, I think it's, it's, a, it's a community and sometimes the more you respond to them then 
the community grows as well. So I will encourage you to uh, respond as much as possible, uh, but not in like to everything, but let them know that, especially when they ask questions that you need to answer, just find a way to, to incorporate in there. I mean, I'm guessing that initially, uh, when you were setting up, what was the audience that you were wishing to follow you? And uh, also based on the comments, w what kind of audience do you think you have in terms of uh, demographics and, and all of that? Honestly speaking, I did not know what to expect mm -hmm. because any other content that I've ever created has just been hair and makeup. So I know that for the most part it's going to be like ladies my age, maybe a bit older, maybe a bit younger. And that's the kind of people that watch. However, we have like a more lot. Men. <laughs> yeah, we have like more men um, like watch us, um, older people, a lot of American people watch mm -hmm. us. And... I think the majority of people that are watching are people that are genuinely like interested either in, really interested in Ghana like we get a lot of people asking mm -hmm. us like oh like can you show us you know different areas like what it's like for someone to relocate back to Africa from England or um, America we get a lot of people kind of saying what's it like for you as a non-Ghanaian um, because and I do get people asking me like, oh, like where are you from? Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. And then it's like, oh, you're not from here. Mm -hmm. But some people, I don't think I've been treated differently because mm -hmm. I'm not from here. Um, for the most part, everybody's been nice to me. But like there are, it's a, a range of people. Also, you get the people that are kind of like, because we're talking about subjects that are not... Um, they're not like your, your everyday topics. Mm -hmm, they're topics mm -hmm. that people wouldn't necessarily speak about, like, oh, deportation, mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. prison. Um, so I guess, guess there's a lot of people that are interested um, that would probably want to ask questions, but they'd never know mm -hmm. who to ask these questions to. Cool. And uh, do people make you out when you go out? Yeah, so we have been recognised once um, at the mall, and... It felt nice. <laughs> <laughs> talking about it the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's nice because I obviously I know people are watching because I can see the views, but mm -hmm. like it's like wow, like people are actually watching and mm -hmm. they're mm -hmm. actually following our journey, and it's nice. Okay, and now that you know people are watching, uh, what do you see the future to be? Uh, in, as, let's start with the vlog, and then maybe later on more as you've come into Ghana. Um, I mean. Like, we'll definitely continue with our with our, all the content. Um, we've got a lot to show, like, of ourselves. But also, like we said, like, there's a lot of Ghana that we haven't seen, um, that we would never have seen if we weren't here. So we know that the majority of people, like, from England normally come back, like, December. And for the most part, it's, like, family, partying. Mm -hmm. They don't get to necessarily see all of these amazing things. So... Like, I'm sure we would love to share and expose all these things and just kind of see where it goes from there. How about you? Uh, future plans. I mean, you, you've, you left the job, you, uh, you were deported, you are moving to your home country. Uh, what, what are you looking forward to? What does the future like for you? Before, my future plan has changed now. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube is going to change my life. <laughs> um, at the start, I wanted to start um, a little business. In Ghana, but then um, after after we started doing the YouTube thing, I could see a future in that a bit. So mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. think I want to focus more on the YouTube side of things. But then at the same time, it's like, when's the income coming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. have you guys still, reached the uh, tre threshold for monetization? We yeah. have, we have, but right. it's taken a long time. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it gets annoying. I mean, I. My new channel, the Amina TV, also went through that phase and uh, eventually it happened. So uh, it will happen. And then I think with the kind of content you're doing and the audience, the way it's across board from a, uh, from a wide, uh, worldwide uh, uh, point of view, it's going to be rewarding once. I hope so. <laughs> once uh, the monetization comes, comes through. So uh, that's it. Uh, make sure you log on to YouTube to check the uh, vlog out. Uh, tell them how to find that. Just Manka and E vlogs. Um, yeah, you'll find all of our interesting videos there. 
Great. Uh, it's been a pleasure Thank having you. Thank you very much. And uh, we can only wish you the very best. Thank you. Pleasure. It's a wrap. <laughs>